community. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you for letting us be here today. I'm so excited to talk to you. It is our pleasure. <laughs> We're honored that you're here. We're excited. Yes. So, Charles, let's start with you. It is Black History Month, and we have so many historical figures in the black community. Why Thurgood Marshall? So at the Portland Playhouse, um, whenever we're choosing what pieces we want to do, we always have discussions about why this play right now, and also being in a historically black church in the King neighborhood, there is that sense of, but what do the people who live here want to see? And also, who are the voices we haven't heard from, right? So in Black History Month, and, and of course Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Malcolm X, there's all these figures we hear about all the time, but Thurgood Marshall, and that's someone that as a kid, I remember learning about a little bit, but it's, it's who are these other revolutionaries and, and people who are fighting for us to just exist, right. who we haven't given the space or the stage or the moment to. And so for Thurgood specifically, um, we had worked with Lester and Lou before, who was the director, um, on Fences by August Wilson. And so we were like, okay, well, we wanna bring them back to work on something, what do you got? And so they had this piece, Thurgood that they'd done before. So it's a mixture of what stories do we want to tell and who do we want to work with. Lester, Thurgood Marshall led such an extraordinary life. So when we come to see this play, what part of that are we going to see you up here performing so wonderfully? Buckle your seatbelts. We are going to go through the span of his life from about 12 years old to 83. Wow. It's, it's a complete journey. And what I love about this journey is that you get to see experiences that we may even have in our lives that we may not think are important, but it becomes a major influence on his destiny. Um, uh, what, one of the scenes uh, talks about him being in college with Langston Hughes. And at this time, Langston Hughes was not Langston Hughes and Thurgood Marshall was not Thurgood Marshall. Mm. And it makes me wonder, who are we in the room with that either we're gonna influence or, or they are gonna influence us that will be that catalyst of greatness. Because what Thurgood learned from uh, Langston Hughes was that, it's my favorite line in the play, is that one person can make a difference. And a lot of the times we get to experience and see that difference, and sometimes we don't. But we have a mighty influence on people. And, and that's what the theater does. That's what we do for the audience, mm -hmm. is that we influence uh, uh, how people think about themselves and each other. Yeah, and covering that time span, I feel like the first thing that clicked in my mind is, all the work that you have to put into it, but being in the audience, the emotional roller coaster mm -hmm. I'm uh, imagining the audience go through as they watch you take action in that huge span of his life because so many incredible things happened. Yes. I mean, you, we're, we're seeing his life beginning in, in 1908. Mm. So there's a lot of turmoil yeah. in America during that time. And, and he talks about the span of his experience all the way up to his retirement. And the, the, the curious thing is there are moments from his past that are still resonating so true today. Mm. And if it happened then and is happening now, we have to be the catalyst for change. Absolutely. And we're the only ones who can do it. It is so ordered. 17 May 1954, the highest court in the nation ruled that America could no longer humiliate its colored citizens by setting them apart. Earl Warren led the justices to a unanimous decision believing the court's unity would send a signal to the nation. One person can make a difference, absolutely. And that wasn't the